guys, the rumor mill is a swirling and a twirling. People, allegedly, some talent in WWE aren't happy with the fact that Triple H <coughs> It's this year's WrestleMania match card. Now, if you guys have been paying any type of attention to wrestling uh, the last shit, I don't know, ever since we went to Peacock, not Peacock, uh, excuse me, or the WWE Network, you know, WrestleMania, man, Vince has kind of been getting out of hand with these damn match cards and lineups. And seven these hour two, shows and seven hour 20 shows. matches. I mean, at one point, I believe we had a WrestleMania that started at what eight o'clock and then go, or seven o'clock and then go off to what no. one one thirty. I think that was the year they was New seven York. o'clock. It was a yeah. six o'clock pre-show, seven yeah. o'clock start time, and they, I think it was in New York because that show yeah. didn't end until after midnight, and the trains had stopped running. Yep. What up, fro? And the what trains up, had stopped running, and it was raining. That was yeah. the bad part. Yeah. It had started raining, the trains had stopped, and nobody could go anywhere, man. Uh, Earl, what it do, baby? Earl, uh, up, so, hey, that that was yeah, that was like the last straw, and that WrestleMania was like a dud WrestleMania. It was like, again, it had a good match to start. It had a, probably a good couple of matches in the middle, and then it was like the main event that everybody wanted to see, but it had took forever to get to it. So the yeah. energy was just like, yeah. no, it was not there, man. So he says, I'm ecstatic for the fewer matches on Mania. I am too. Bro, and that's and that's what we've been talking about. And that's we've been saying that. And I've been saying it like if Triple H decides he wants to give us uh, 14 matches, you yeah. give us seven, you know, six to seven matches on the first night, six to seven yeah. matches on the second night, I think that'd be good. And yeah. if you look at the formula of what he's been doing on his pay-per-views, yeah. he's been giving you about five to seven matches. Yeah. <clears throat> depending on the pay-per-view, depending on what match stipulation, you know, when it was a uh, war games, you know, mm-hmm. it was five matches. When it was elimination chamber, it was five matches. But when it was a uh, stream rules, you got like, I think like six or seven matches. Yeah. Uh, Crown Jewel was kind of different, but it wasn't like, it, but that was Crown Jewel. It was overseas, but right, every right. match was a good match. And then, you know, the pay-per-view before that, I think was, uh, oh no, Survivor, no, that was, that was it. Cause it, it, it was a clash at the castle and they, they had a nice lineup set up for that. But yeah, outside of that, we've been getting that five to seven match uh, card and mm-hmm. people have been loving it. They've been loving yeah. it because the show has been ending an hour and a half before we think it should end. Like, exactly. oh, man, wait a minute, it's going on. It's 1045. Wait a minute. It's 1045. It's about to go off. Oh, yeah, this is cool. We got nice quality matches on every match, regardless if you liked it or not. Uh, but nothing went too long. Unless it was important, and yeah. and so I'm, I'm game for what the game is going to do for WrestleMania. Uh, and if if every match, if he's looking to put every match that matters, mm-hmm. basically something that has a story to it, we're going to finish it out at WrestleMania. I'm okay with that. So if some people are upset that they don't get to go on WrestleMania, then you know what? Up your game, step mm. up, do yeah. something more. Because yeah. if you've been satisfied with coming out and being a joke, now I get it. Oh, I'm on WrestleMania, you know, I guess. But you on the pre-show. We yeah. already know the pre-show don't matter for shit. Because right. Vince right. McMahon told us that the pre-show don't matter. <laughs> SmackDown got the one victory in the yeah. Royal uh, Survivor Series uh, matchup one year. And they didn't even want to count it because it was on the pre-show. pre-show so we already know the pre-show is a joke. So honestly, you want to be on the main card? Hey, man, show up and show out. And And now you have more of an opportunity to do that. And that's the thing, too, because my thing is this. Okay, WrestleMania is already two nights. And I I guess if I'm a talent, if I'm a talent, I understand. I understand, because trust me, because that was the issue we had a few years back when the women's match had got cut from the WrestleMania car. I forgot what what matches the main event that night uh, when we only had the one. uh, It was only the one night before we started going to two. And I remember the women's match got cut. And people were pissed because it was the only scheduled women's match on the card. So I, I uh, was that the triple threat? I think you're talking about the triple threat. That like that Becky, may have Ronda and Charlotte Flair. That may have been. And so I, I think understand. so. So I understand why talent. You know, when Vince, when he was you know booking creative, uh, the last few WrestleManias or whatever. Well, I guess every WrestleMania up until now. Why they were happy because right. you know when you had those eight hour long WrestleManias, even. <clears throat> The shit matches, you know, the filler matches, people got a chance to say, hey, I was on the card, right? But 
as a fan, and you got to think about it, this is fan service. As a fan, I don't want to sit here and watch a whole bunch of filler matches, especially now at the showcase of the Immortals. I want to see the best of the best. And like you said, too, I think when you have a shorter match card, it really focuses uh, it, 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 it brings more attention to the storylines at hand because, okay, look, I got seven matches. Okay, maybe three or four of those matches may be really great. But I, if you give, you know, every match the proper amount of time based on storyline and depending on stipulation, like I feel like this year, I feel like the Royal Rumble was very well done because you had two yeah. hour long matches and it still went off at a decent time. Okay, the Royal Rumble. I, I actually I'm against it because I really? thought they rushed. I thought they rushed the men's Royal Rumble. Like, oh no, wait a minute. Who started first? The men started the first. They rushed the women's yeah. Royal Rumble. They rushed through that, and then Roman Reigns got all that extra time just so they can get off the show. So yeah. I didn't feel like that was positive to the women for that. Like I, I did. Yeah. We we all we noticed that when when it when it because uh, we're like, man, they're going through this. Like, come on, man. There was no way that was 90 seconds. Yeah. Right? I they were sending saying, people out like, every... like, damn, that's a fast 90 seconds. Yeah. Right. Like, they were sending people out every 30 seconds, man. Like, come on, man. Look, look, nah, there's no way uh, that was 90 seconds for each woman. But, um, again, I, I, that was the one negative about it. But the fact that you gave us two Royal Rumbles and then you had the three title matches. Now, of course, that one title match was the one match that mattered the most because that was the story, even for the Royal Rumble. And when you think about it, that match, it, 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 it really took over the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble has always been the theme of the Royal Rumble. Like, that's the big, you know, send off to go home. Yeah. Not this year. It wasn't the Royal Rumble this year because we all kind of figured, okay, if Cody's coming back, boom, Cody's going to win. Cody ended up winning. Uh, <clears throat> and then... You know, they'll go through the tribal chief thing until they get to WrestleMania, which yeah. they're doing because they're giving Sammy another opportunity at a house show in Toronto mm-hmm. uh, to fight uh, Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship. Uh, but I doubt if we get to see this on TV because I'm not sure the exact date. I don't think it's a date that's Raw or SmackDown comes on. I think it's just some yeah. random day. Um, but I, I, for WrestleMania, and think about this. Pre-show comes on at 7 o'clock. WrestleMania is going to be from 7 to 11. That's four hours. It's WrestleMania. Right. An hour of that is going to be pre-show, which means that's going to give you time to do whatever it is you need to do. So you, by the time WrestleMania comes on at 8 o'clock, you get time to get home. From right. 8 o'clock to about 11, 11.30. I'll give it 11.30 just on the humble that we're going to get a good quality of matches. And that's going to be seven matches. And then think about it. It's WrestleMania. We're getting two nights. So yeah. we're going to get another night. So you don't have to rush to put everything on night one. You can space everything out. Give us a good quality show. Because, again, it's WrestleMania. We yeah. expect good matches. But we also get to we expect to see uh, uh, legends. We get to expect to see celebrities. It's still WrestleMania. You know, you still want to see that. 